Hi, I am Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is the Nocturnus Diary. Today, I am going to talk about melatonin. This is the third in a series that I'm currently doing, and I am very happy that you have joined to check it out. All right, so um, today I'm going to talk about melatonin. Yesterday, I reviewed very briefly the two hormones that I'm going to be highlighting. One was cortisol and the other one was melatonin. And I also prefaced my statements by saying that there are other hormones that are released during the sleep and um, that are also important, but these are the two that I'm going to focus on, okay? So melatonin, uh, as I mentioned before in the previous episode, is related to, its release is related to deeper sleep, allowing for for the enhancement of other hormones being released during that time period. And it is very triggered, it is very much triggered by the light and dark cycle. So when it is dark out, your melatonin will be released easily and allow for you to sleep more deeply. And that is because when, the, when it's dark, it tells the body that it's time to sleep. So in that same vein, as a night shift person, it, you can trick your body into feeling like we're in the dark cycle by making your environment in which you sleep dark. So how can you do this? One very easy way to do this is to have the place where you're sleeping. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining. The place where you're sleeping be uh, dark. So you can have curtains. So these aren't blackout curtains. These, these curtains are particular blackout curtains, but in my bedroom upstairs, I have curtains that on the, on the other side of the curtain, there's a huge uh, thick material that is placed on it, and that makes it block out the light. You can also have shades on your, on your windows to block out the light. Um, some people will put foil to seal the, the windows so there's no light that can penetrate. But the whole idea is to create an environment that has dark. And so, like I said, you can do this by blackout curtains. Another thing that you can also do is you can wear um, a sleep mask and that will also create dark. Um, you can uh, wear on your way home. So this is kind of where it gets a little tricky. So if you are going to be going directly to bed when you get home, you can wear um, uh, polarized tinted glasses. They're amber tinted glasses and you can wear those. You can get them on Amazon or something and um, you can wear those on your way home if it's going to be light out while you drive and that will help to start acclimating your body to release the melatonin that's going to assist you to get that good, nice, deep sleep. Okay, so blackout curtains, uh, amber tinted glasses, you can keep your room in which you're sleeping on the cooler side that will also aid in you getting good sleep and um and you can also reduce the amount of noise that you are exposed to if you're someone who is a light sleeper and you can do that by getting really good earplugs or headphones that are going to block out the noise so that's how you can get your melatonin triggered so that you can have deep sleep now when you wake up up so you wake up in the dark and you need to function uh, one way in which you can start to acclimate yourself when you wake up in the dark to transfer now to the light even though it's dark out is you can get um, a a uh, sun lamp so these are these bright LED um, uh, lamps that simulate sunlight so I have one here in my room, in my office, and um, it works wonders. So you can just spend like 10, 15 minutes as you're getting ready for work under that, and that will help to wake your body up, signal to your body that it's actually your daytime, even though it's dark outside, and um, that will help with that process as well. There was one other thing that I wanted to mention. So the same thing is true. So you want to expose yourself to bright light to kind of get, get things going. While at work, if you want to maintain that daytime 
uh, effect and status stay in the brighter light and then as you're getting ready to go you know like I said you get into a more dim dim scenario if you can and then of course putting on the glasses on the way home so these are just some ways in which we can manipulate the light dark cycle uh, for us as night workers and um, hopefully these tips were helpful to you uh, hopefully they will help you to have uh, much better sleep and um, be able to get the release of those important hormones that you need in order to function well okay well this is dr charmaine gregory and this is the nocturnist diary and i hope that you will be strong be brave and unleash your greatness <music>